How to measure a torsion spring. Put your spring in between the calipers so we can measure the OD, or outer diameter. This particular spring measures 507 OD. Next, let's measure the wire diameter of the spring. This spring measures at 0.46 thousandths. Verify by measuring the other side. Next, we're going to measure the leg length. This leg length measures at 1 inch and 410 thousandths. To re-verify, we'll then measure the other leg length. The other leg length measures at 1 inch and 425 thousandths. And as you can see, they are not exact, but this is the correct way to measure leg lengths on a torsion spring. From there, we're going to measure the body length of the spring. This spring measures at 140 thousandths on the body length. Now, we're going to count the number of coils on your spring. Start counting at the second coil because it's not a full coil until it makes a 360 degree turn. So that's one, two, two even coils. Again, that's one, two, two even coils. Now we're gonna look down the barrel of the spring. Place the back leg, the one furthest away from you at 12 o'clock. And whatever way the leg faces horizontally is the type of spring it is. This particular spring is a left-handed spring because the spring faces to the left. Sometimes your spring can have an eighth of a coil or three quarters of a coil. And to determine the exact number of coils on your torsion spring, we have designed this diagram to help you. First, figure out which hand of spring you have. Take your spring in your hand and make sure the last coil, the one furthest away from you, is at high noon, or zero on the diagram. Now start counting at the second wire. Why? Because it's not a complete coil until it rotates 360 degrees. So start counting on the second wire and count towards you. Remember to count all the coils, including any quarter, half, or three quarter coils at the end of the spring. For this purpose, we've created this diagram so you can determine the exact number of coils in your spring. For example, if my spring ends at point 0.250, that means I have an extra quarter of a coil. which means the total number of coils plus a quarter coil. If my spring ends at 0.5, that means I have an extra half a coil. And if my spring ends at 0.75, that means I have an extra three quarter coil. If your spring falls anywhere between these other points, see our diagram for further measurements. And this is how you correctly measure a torsion spring.